Alright, Roblox Parker version 1.88, new coming update origin in the game. So I'm warning you guys, which I don't know if I should or not, but those updates might change once it published origin in the game. So they are not 100% accurate or I don't think some of them are 100% accurate, who knows. So let's start with the review of the upcoming new updates to origin in the game. But before we start, I would like to ask you if you can take a sweet sweet time and like this video. No? Oh man. At least subscribe if you haven't yet. Thanks. Alright, there is a new update. So biggest update of this version is ranked mode obviously. Let me explain shortly what is the ranked mode all about to those who don't know. It's basically an option in a main UI where you can choose to be queued with others to complete, I mean compete with each other. There is three options. You can choose to be compete with others depending on which gear you choose, Mercurial, Grappler or Gearless. Once it starts, one person has to follow and other has to lead. Dying cause losing point and until the time ends, who gets more points wins the round. New player list. So in my opinion, new GI looks really great. Once you play ranked and get your first rank, you're able to include your rank next to your name, which is cool. I'm pretty sure Hazel planning to add more features to this in future. Nerves. Long jump and quill boost gets nerfed in this update, which I kinda understand but also don't understand at the same time. While people can already chain and fly a billion meters away, we can't have a quill boost one inch. Crazy. Anyways, as you might see on the video, those are the nerfs. It's not quite not noticeable, but once you start running with them, you will slightly feel the difference. New settings and care bind. So there's new game style in the game, and that is third person. As most of you already realized, you couldn't quite run in the third person after chains and other new stuff came to the game. Now there is a new setting called Camera Lock, which locks your camera once you hit right shift and is not left shift, it's right shift, okay? Uh, button on your keyboard. If I might give you my opinion on this update, I think it's nice and useful. You can see better what's going on around you. And 50% of the Roblox community is really uh, third person players. Yeah. Anyway, I liked it and I hope you guys are going to like it too. I speed now add to your combo line. As I could understand from this update, if you get speedy, it adds up to your combo line. It's make combo line slightly easier. Combos are slightly less forgiving, means that making combos is slightly harder. Unless if you're using chains and other bunch of moves like Magrail to get speedy, it won't change anything. If you get speedy, you earn slightly more combo and right now combos are slightly nerfed. So it just balances it if you know how to get speedy. Grappler dashing slightly more forgiving. Probably means doing dashes slightly easier now. Grappler aiming is now more accurate to your cursor, so it's nice. Whenever you aim and grappler, it will be grappled to that exact place. Nice. Added unlock notifications for gear when leveling up and completing advanced tutorial. From now on, once you unlock new stuff in your account or complete advanced tutorial, you will get notification that reminds you what you have been unlocked just now, which is really cool. Some people might be confused. New Tower Apex Tower. So, new tower added to game called Apex Tower, which is coming from Apex Legends, if you guys see the Apex logo. And it's currently third highest tower in game. First one is Crest, second is High Rise, third one is Vertex, and Apex is fourth, which is new. I'm not sure, like, I'm not sure, like, I'm not 100% sure about this uh, order, but as I check myself, I see Crest is number one, and High Rise two, Vertex three, and then Apex is four. So yeah, if you think it's different, just let me know in the comments.
Custom Glow is now unlocked at level 30 and not 45. Which is, yeah, I mean, they're trying to make the game slightly easier, you know. Probably trying to kill the game uh, before the new map comes out or the new big changes comes out. I don't know. Macreal is now affected by Adrenaline Belt, which is, means basically Macreal dash is now affected by Adrenaline Belt. Every time you dash, you will go further if you have Adrenaline Belt. Um, yeah. New data structure. This is developer stuff, I'm pretty sure, but I don't know why they think it's really important to put at the new update list screen. Weird. And as a last, dozen of bugs has been fixed. Nobody tried to let me in, nobody opened doors 